Hello guys, in this video I will show you two ways how to make your controllers shorter if you have some duplicate code, really similar pieces of code for like 10 lines or something, how to refactor them to avoid code duplication. And I have two cases. First case, if two methods of the same controller are pretty similar, how to extract the code somewhere. And then second case is different controllers with pretty similar methods and where to extract that one. And let's start with example on the screen. Pretty typical example actually in real world. A resourceful controller with store and update methods, which are pretty similar. There is some kind of logic of assigning some properties and then saving. And the same is happening in store in update with only one difference. In store we create the object, in update we're finding the object. Everything else is pretty similar, or in my case, it's identical. So this one is absolutely identical. And where to store that? In such case, probably the best advice I can give is to create a private method of a controller that would be called from both store and update. And I've done exactly that. If I scroll down, there is a private function save, which accepts the card, whether it's new card or found card, and accepts the HTTP request. And it does the same thing as here. So we can remove that and do this, save, and parameters would be cart and request. And we can do the same thing here. Instead of all of that in the store method, we can do this. So this way we've refactored duplicate code from controller methods and created a separate one which does all the logic. And of course it is tricky if it's not exactly identical. If there are some parameters or different logic in store and update, then that extracted method may have additional parameters, additional if statements or something like that. So in some cases it's not worth to extract. But if, as in my case, it is almost identical, then it's totally worth it to have a private method in the controller. Another example is what if you have similar methods in two controllers or more, like prepare something. Like you can prepare card from card controller or there is another product controller which also has pretty similar functionality but in product controller. Maybe some parameter is different. So basically the question is where you should have a method that would be called from different controllers but you still want it to be in a controller. One way of doing that is to extract all of that in some kind of separate class like a service or any general PHP class. But what I wanted to show you is that you can have methods in the base controller. So as you can see, product controller extends controller and also card controller extends the same controller, which is in Laravel this one. So app HTTP controllers controller and you can copy, for example, that function from any controller and then paste it in here. The only difference is that method should be public if it's reused in all the controllers. And of course, then you need to use card here. So something like use app models card and maybe some more logic, but now you can delete that method from all the controllers, but you still can use it like it would be a part of card controller or product controller because it comes from the base controller. And again, it may be not that simple because the methods may be 90% the same, but those 10% may be questionable. So you may play around with parameters for that method or just do request, request, and then based on that request, then do some if else statements. But again, if the methods are only 70% similar, maybe it's not worth to extract it like this one. But generally, I just wanted you to know that you can have private methods in your controllers, which would be called from other methods of the controllers, or you can put a method in a base controller that would automatically be accessible in all the other controllers. If you want to know more about how to shorten your controllers and to make it more readable and to extract the logic in other parts of the application, here's the video for you in the top left corner about refactoring the controller. And if you want more videos generally on this channel, you can support this channel by doing one of two things. Use our quick admin panel Laravel generator for admin panel at quickadminpanel.com or enroll in one of my courses or more courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.